Hey guys, welcome to another series of mine, which is called Dropshipping Made Simple. In this series, we talk about everything related to dropshipping slash e-commerce and talk about what we can do, any advice, tips, or answer some questions that you may have right here on this live. So since this is the first episode of this new series that I'm launching on the Facebook lives, I am gonna keep it really simple, really basic, and maybe some people who don't even know what dropshipping is will learn a thing or two from this episode here. So we're gonna talk about what dropshipping in general is, the whole dropshipping cycle, and how it involves you, your customers, and your suppliers, and basically what dropshipping is, how to sell items without having them physically in your inventory. Because with dropshipping, you don't have to keep your products in your inventory. You can just forward the order directly to your supplier who will send them directly from their location to your customer. So without further ado, let's begin the first episode of Dropshipping Made Simple. A basically an introduction to dropshipping, how to sell items without having them physically on hand. So here I've drawn out the basic uh, dropshipping cycle which usually is the case for most people starting out with dropshipping the first thing that happens is a customer goes to your store and places an order after he places the order uh, on your store you forward the order to your supplier who then in turn sends the order directly to your customer that's it. that's basically it you don't have to have any physical products on hand you don't have to have inventory you don't even have to have a physical location for your store because everything will be done online and this is the basic dropshipping cycle how it usually happens with pretty much all dropshipping stores so what I also want to talk about in this episode is when you are starting out what do you need as a dropshipper what are the items or software or platforms or pretty much anything that you need on hand to start out with dropshipping. So just give me a second. The list of things that you need as a dropshipper is really short. There are just basically five things you need to start selling things as a dropshipper. The first thing is um, a computer or laptop. Basically the same thing, but you need a way to work on your store or list the products on your store advertise online because with a dropship store everything happens online so you need a PC or a laptop to connect to the internet second thing is of course internet access If you cannot connect to the internet, how can you develop a online store or do any paid advertising or even search for products that you can find with a supplier, maybe through a site on Amazon or AliExpress or Alibaba? Because you need internet access to access those sites and then you can start working on your dropship store. So this is the number two thing that you need, internet access. Number three is your own store so this is fairly simple you need a platform to sell your products be it on Amazon be it on eBay using Shopify using click funnels or even creating your own website um, that you developed through programming but you need a platform to sell your products which is basically your store so this is number three on the list number four is of course products so whatever place you want to sell your products to the first thing you need to actually make sales is a product to sell uh, no matter what type of product it is no matter what platform you're selling your products on you need to have product listed on your site to actually make sales. Otherwise people cannot buy from you and 
if you don't even have a single product listed on your funnel or your Shopify store or your uh, Amazon account, you cannot make any sales. Pretty obvious. And the number five thing you need is capital. So dropshipping is really, really simple to get into. It's a low investment business model. What I mean by low investment is that you do need some money to invest into the business to get it started. It's not a lot of money compared to other business models uh, like affiliate marketing or um, maybe starting out your own blog that requires you to uh, basically maybe spend a lot of money to get into the business model. But with dropshipping, you can start with a low amount of investment um, compared to other business models. Like what I recommend is 500 to a thousand dollars that you can spend on marketing because to drive customers to your store, you need to uh, basically use advertising or any other form of um, getting your store name out there so people can get to your store and actually buy from you. And the best and simplest way to do that is through paid advertising. The way that I do that for my stores in dropshipping is using paid Facebook advertisements. So with paid Facebook ads, you can basically start out with a really, really low daily budget to advertise for your products. What I recommend is if you start using paid advertisements uh, on Facebook, you can already start at a five uh, dollar daily budget on your ads. And that's enough to gather at least some data, which will in turn get you um, enough data to see if your product is catching on, to see if you can gather some sales interest. So the way that I usually test out products or stores is to create a paid advertisement on Facebook with a certain ad objective which is video views. And this may be a little bit ahead uh, for the people that don't know anything about online advertising or haven't even done anything with Facebook ads yet. But I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna tell you real quickly how you can basically do paid Facebook advertisements really easily and then gather enough data for yourself to um, see if your product is a successful product or not, if it catches on or not. So. We create a paid Facebook advertisement, which is a video views ad. Then the whole ad set is created to basically target one country and one interest only. And with that, we place them on a $5 daily budget. And after we've created the ad, the video, the ad creative and everything that people see, um, then we launch it for 24 hours and see what the data is how many uh, people did click on the ad to get to your store and how many people did see the ad, stuff like that. So the criteria that we use for these ads is something that's called CPC, cost per link click. So if we look at the stats that is the CPC, the cost which, which is costing us to get a link click on these ads, we are looking at it to be below under 30 cents. And if it's under 30 cents on the video views ads, then it's basically already partly a winner. And we move on to the second step, which is creating another ad, which is a conversions ad. This ad has a purpose to actually get her some sales. And then that's the second step, is actually see if we can make sales on this product through this conversion ad. So. If you didn't understand anything what I said about Facebook ads and ad objectives, ad sets and everything, don't worry, we'll talk about that in more depth in another video um, in this series, which is shipping made simple. But this is just really quickly telling you how marketing affects your business, your dropshipping store, how we can test out products to see if they're successful, interesting enough for your audience. And we'll talk more about the marketing aspects of this business in another episode. So this is basically it, how dropshipping is done, basically what you need, the cycle of dropshipping, how it usually works for 99% of the businesses, which uh, usually operate on a dropshipping business model. And if you want to follow this series more in depth, we are launching this series new. This is the first episode and we do these twice a week. Today on 
Tuesday and tomorrow on Wednesday. Those are the days that we launch a new Dropshipping Made Simple episode. We talk about dropshipping and e-commerce in general, the aspects of the business, marketing, logistics, whatever questions you may have about dropshipping, we also answer on this Facebook Live. And if you want to watch more videos from me uh, or some Facebook Lives that you may have missed and you want to ask some questions about it or um, want to follow that specific topic that which I talked about on that Facebook Live, you can go into um, the description here, click on the YouTube link to get to my channel and watch the videos again. The schedule for the Facebook Lives and the YouTube videos is like this. I launch four Facebook Lives every week from Monday to Thursday and I launch a new video uh, on YouTube every Friday. And most of these Facebook Lives will also be re-uploaded on YouTube to make it easier for you guys to re-watch some of these Facebook Live videos. Maybe because there's a subject that you really like uh, to know more about, or maybe you are following this series from episode one, like today, and you want to follow every single step, every single episode that we talk about dropshipping. I don't know how many episodes of this series will come out, but I will try to keep it up and really simplify all the different aspects of this business. So everybody could basically understand how dropshipping works. And if you want to actually start your own dropshipping business, you can click on the link for personal mentorship with me and my team uh, through the link that says www.thestevengolman.com. Watch the 12 minute short video of the process that we use for our stores, uh, which are using the dropshipping business model together with a subscription type business and uh, schedule a appointment with us so we can talk on the phone see how we can help you in your situation and if you're a good fit for our mentorship in your situation like I said even though dropshipping is relatively low in uh, the amount of money that you need to invest to get started in this business you do need a little bit of capital my recommendation again is $500 to about $1,000 to cover all the um, costs plus advertisements for your products. Otherwise, um, you will need to spend a lot of time creating something like a following or creating organic posts to really get your name from your store out there. And that will take a long, long time for most people. So the best and simplest way and quickest way to get traffic to your store is through paid advertisements, which I recommend you do basically Facebook ads because it is really simple. The process on creating those ads is really laid out well for you and you can already start at a $5 daily budget. So you spend like $5 a day to get traffic to your store. And maybe you can find a product that um, is interesting for your customers and they want to know more about it. So they click on the link, get to your store and maybe they will actually buy. So everybody who sees the ad, clicks on the ads are just potential customers for you. And that's all done through paid advertisements on Facebook. So guys, um, if you want to follow this series, I uh, watch a, this video back a little. I laid out a schedule for the new series that I'm launching on these Facebook lives. Or if you uh, don't want to go back a little on this Facebook live, you can always rewatch this video on my YouTube channel. Just, uh, just click on the link in the description here on this Facebook post or live depending on when you see it and then maybe subscribe like or comment anything you like maybe with a question we'll try to reply it as well on uh, YouTube but I like to do it here on Facebook because I'm more active on here that's why I do these videos on the Facebook lives instead of creating videos uh, here <laughs> for YouTube so guys this was it for today's dropshipping made simple it was the first episode and tomorrow will be the second um, once again, thank you guys for attending this Facebook Live. And if you want to rewatch it, YouTube channel is in the description. You can watch it here on the, my timeline on Facebook. Uh, consider subscribing, liking this video, um, following me, <laughs> whatever everybody's saying uh, that you do on YouTube. Subscribe, like, comment, share, whatever. Do it all. And I'll see you guys tomorrow on the next Facebook Live on Dropshipping Made Simple number two.